Hey, Drews, it's Evan Next Drews, I'm going to be a medical here, so I'm talking about endometrial cancer. So this is cancer of the uh, inner lining of the uterus. So this is uh, cancer again in the girl part, so, and this is a not super common cancer. Um, again, usual disclaimers, I'm not a doctor, not giving you medical advice, nor am I a cancer patient or cancer survivor, obviously not a girl, big ass cigar for life. So anyway, um, this is not, um, again, not the most common type of cancer, like lung, lung breast, prostate cancer, uh, but it's not, you know, super rare, like, you know, very, very rare. So it's a type of cancer of the inner lining of the uterus, and it occurs most commonly in, in postmenopausal women, so women who have already gone through menopause, and uh, basically it will present most commonly as abnormal bleeding, uh, vaginal bleeding, which is oftentimes one of the reasons it's detected early is because it's caught early, because um, women who are postmenopausal will not have bleeding normally, so aside from maybe a little bit of bleeding. Um, so they will present at an early stage oftentimes, and the standard treatment is a hysterectomy, which is removal of the cervix, uh, uterus, fallopian tubes and, and ovaries, and that is the, t the standard treatment, and when caught early has a very good uh, cure rate, and oftentimes the only treatment necessary is uh, surgery. So uh, sometimes radiation therapy or chemotherapy is possible, or hormone therapy is possible or needed, uh, but um, a lot of times surgery is the only treatment. And in terms of risk factors for this cancer, some people have speculated uh, potentially um, obesity, um, high fat diet, high meat diet, like in uh, pork and sausages and bacon, you know, women who have a lot of estrogen, that kind of stuff. So, big ass of life, bye.